And I want to show you guys just how waterproof a mink fur is, particularly in winter time. Now in the morning when it freezes really cold, eat this pond freezes over and that's also where she gets her drinking water. Neela no. And uh, she likes to dive in her little hole. And uh, so there she goes. I want you to notice when she comes out just how dry her fur will be. So she likes to get in there and explore around. And look at that, she just barely shakes off and it's perfectly dry. So she can dive underneath there and she's got the ultimate dry suit on because the air is trapped between the outer part of her, her fur and her skin. And so she's perfectly dry and the little bottom pads of her feet are the only part that really gets cold. What Edith does though is kind of funny. She likes to get in even when I break all the ice, she gets all the little pieces. <laughs> and she takes them, she puts stacks them up right over there. See how she has stacked all the pieces of ice over here. Neela, no. And the neighbor's dog is barking at the chickens. Neela, no. Thank you. Good girl. Anyway. So it's pretty incredible how how waterproof uh, a minx fur is. She's perfectly dry though. There's hardly any water on her. But the interesting thing is in the summertime, it's not the same and uh, she needs to cool off in the summertime so her fur will absorb a little bit of water to help keep her skin cool. Anyway, it's pretty cool.